When was the last time you saw someone do something genuinely nice in Rust? I mean, we've all seen the videos on YouTube of nakeds getting beamed from hundreds of meters away and people getting raided and left with nothing. But when was the last time you saw the opposite? That someone built a base purely just to give it away to someone who was having a hard time? It's been an idea that I wanted to explore for a little while just because, being somewhat of a noob myself, I'm all too familiar with how cruel this game can be. But I have also seen that there's some people that play this game that do genuinely want to be helpful, that do genuinely want to help a player that's struggling and maybe use their skill level and experience in the game to pay it forward a little bit. And that was my plan for today, to build a base, only a small one, stock it with enough resources, food, and bits and pieces to help someone get a decent start and then just give it all away. Inject a little bit of positivity into the day of someone who's playing a game that, let's be honest, will destroy you if it wants to. So I farmed up enough resources to build a real basic 2x2 on the edge of this river. As a location this made a lot of sense to me because I was planning on farming all of my scrap and components exclusively from the ocean. There's a ton of food all around it plus it's pretty close to outpost as well. So after building the base and having a very quick scout around my immediate area I thought I'd have a little bit of a roam around. I found a boat on the beach which made trips out to the ocean a whole lot easier than the kayak and I decided now was as good a time as any to get started. I farm the ocean this way for most of the morning. I think the quality of loot that's out in the ocean gets overlooked a little bit, to be honest. And if you're willing to either avoid or fight with the sharks, the sunken ships have quite a considerable amount on them as well. With some even holding some low to mid tier weapons. But with that being said, 99 times out of 100, if a shark spots you, you're pretty much screwed. As the sun started to set, I decided to head back to base not just a depot, but also to make some upgrades and probably hit the recycler. I deliberately built the base right next to Outpost as well. I figured that way, whoever I gave the base to wouldn't have to run too far to get to some of the helpful stuff that Outpost has to offer, like the recyclers and oil refineries and shops, maybe even a tier one workbench if they need one. I grabbed everything that was in the base components wise and headed for a recycle run. I also took all of the crude oil that I had and refined it all as well. I figured giving someone a fat stack of low grade was a lot better than giving them 400 odd crude oil. Especially if I was building a base that was next to the ocean and leaving them a boat as well. I left Outpost with more than 170 scrap, more than 1000 low grade, 600 cloth, 500 metal frags, plus wood and a bit of HQM and everything else. Didn't seem like a bad first run from the ocean at all. I then headed back to the base, added a layer of honeycomb, slapped on an airlock, grabbed a pick and a chainsaw and ran out to grab some more wood and stone. I refilled my furnaces, chucked down a bit more storage and figured I'd go out and have one more good run across the ocean before I went out and actively tried to find someone to give all this to. DB, that'll do nicely. While I was making this final recycle run, I noticed someone in the chat was having a bit of a tough time with the team that they were in. 
and having now got a good amount of scrap and resources in the base, I figured now was as good a time as any to try and be a little bit of a good Samaritan. Terrible spelling, but never mind. Right, right, come with me, mum. So what I'll do, I'll take, I'll take the lock off the TC. You can have whatever's in there. There's a ton of stuff in there, man. So have a look in there. All them, f there's stuff in these furnaces as well. All the boxes have got gear in them. Like there's about, f there's about 5k stone in the TC. There's tons of, all these furnaces are full of. So trusting, but I don't even know if it's healthy. It's stuff that I'm not going to use, you know, so. Honestly, like, I'll take all the locks off the doors. You can have the whole thing. Like, I, I, I'm not going to use it anymore, man. So, I'm honestly, it, this will end up just decaying. I'm, I'm not coming back to it, man. So you can just have it. What? Are you just gonna like go on a different server or something? Yeah, yeah. My, I'm, I'm done playing. I'm not gonna be playing for like another week or so. All this stuff will end up just decaying and going into nothing. So you might as well just have it and and get some practice out of it, you know. No, that's no worries, man. So this back one here has got food in it. It's got a load of metal tools, chainsaws. There's a couple bows in there as well and a green card. The box that's out by the door, like the one that's lower down, has got some stuff in it as well. And there's some stuff in all these furnaces as well, man. So. Okay, so I would, but I'll probably look after this place for you because if you're going to probably come back to this in a week or so. Nah, dude, this... this server will be wiped by the time i get back to it man you, I, I don't want it back you can just have it i know a lot of people on this tend to like they'll say one thing and then do another but like genuinely i'm not coming back to it man look i'll take all these locks off so that you can do your own ones and then that's that man you can you can just have it uh, i don't like saying things like, i don't like being given stuff well like it seems like you've had a bit of a rough time with, with whoever that was before man so like I've been in that spot, man. Like I've been, I've been a beginner at this game, and it fucking sucks. People are vicious on this, man. So like, just, just take a win, just have it, and just do whatever you want with it. I mean, you don't even have to use it if you don't want to. But like the materials that are here, you can, you can at least use them for something. So what, what I'll do is I'll put. If you authorize, your, have you authorized yourself on the TC? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So what I'll do is I'll put you, I'll put a code lock on the front. With just so no one else can get in, and the code for it will just be one, two, three, four. You can change it afterwards if you want, and then this is yours, man. I'm, I'm gonna go, and you can you can do with it now. You can do whatever you want with it. That's all right, man. It's all good. You can do whatever you want with it now, though, you know.